Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com and thanks to Banggood we have the Bug 6. So here's a little bit of a story. So you know you guys uh, have been watching the channel for a while so I've started the uh, Old Man's FPV Club and I picked up the Wakira Runner 250. Well Banggood was watching and said hey Joe you get you're starting the Old Man's FPV Club um how about checking this out this is a ready to fly entry level uh, FPV racing drone. They said, we'll send it to you. You tell us what you think of it. Is it a good entry-level drone for old men to fly? And, uh, well, here I am. So let's do a bit of unboxing on this and take a look what comes inside the box because I'm rather excited about this because this is a little bit cheaper than the Wakira uh, Runner 250. Actually, quite a bit cheaper. Uh, probably less than half the price. And it's got brushless motors. So I'm pretty excited about it. Now, this doesn't have GPS. Um... And I'm not sure if this particular one comes with a camera, but it's got the 2.4 gig two-way communication. So this, uh, you know, weak signal and low voltage, the remote controller will alarm. So that's a good thing. It's got four-in-one ESCs, and it also has brushless motors. So, uh, and I love the form factor, and it's very much uh, like the um, Wakira Runner 250. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside here. Um, let's... Uh, see what we got inside the box um figure out how to open it up here uh, we got a little bit of tape so uh, nice box and let's open it up oh styrofoam wow the box itself is actually very light i was, I was surprised um at how light the box was so let's go see if we can get it to come out nicely I think it's coming out. Sorry about shaking, you guys. You're going to get shook a little bit here because it's shaking the table. And we have the obligatory styrofoam cooler. And so uh, it's taped on both sides here, so let's go ahead and, and liberate it. Very well packed, which is good because I was a little bit concerned because the corner of that box was damaged. And wow, so here we go. So this is what it looks like. Uh, pretty impressive to say the least. Now it does have the camera on it, so woohoo, good. So we've got the FPV camera, we've got the battery. Um, it has uh, the smaller XT connectors. I'm not sure the size of that. I typically, the Wakira has, I think, the 60. Uh, so the, I like how the battery sits in here. Also notice how the battery locks in against the front. I like this battery mounting. I don't, uh, you know, I'm sure you could probably use regular batteries with it. Uh, it looks like a two cell uh, version. It's got, uh, it's got the rear tail lights like the Wakira. It's got the two headlights, which I really love, uh, like on the Wakira. And uh, so let's set that aside. And we got the charger. We got some extra props. Now I, I like how it has the 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 kind of nuts that screw on here for the props. Now we got an extra piece of tape. Yeah, we got little screwdrivers and some other tools here. And um, I'm just looking. Oh, duh! The controller goes in the back here. So let's liberate all this stuff. And. Uh, yeah, controller is a little bit above a toy grade uh, controller, but not bad, not bad. Especially for the money, I kind of like uh, like the configuration. Kind of hard to get out of here because it's poked through the plastic. Not bad. Um, so yeah, not bad. So you get your trims, you get your on off. Now. The thing is, one of the things, I think Banggood was listening when they sent me this, because one of the pieces I said, why can't I get a quad, um, you know, an FPV quad, racing quad that does flips? This is supposed to do flips. One button flips with brushless motors nonetheless. This I am really, really geeked. Um, and I'm not sure what that is, that land home, unlock the motor, video. Um... I don't believe this has an SD card, so it's just going to have rote video transmission. Now, I'm going to use this with my um, SkyZone 700 um, FPV receiver. So let's take a look here. So 
We got uh, different types of materials and stickers and all kinds of books. So I'll have to take a look at that later. So I'm going to put this aside. Just uh, look this over again. So it looks like we got the antennas on the side. Got the antennas. So it looks like receiver and transmitting antennas on the side. Uh, it seems to be sort of a, a plastic unibody, uh, almost. Uh, although there might be different components underneath this sheathing that you can maybe replace these. The legs look replaceable. You have screws here in the legs. Um, so that all looks pretty good. The motor's held on by four bolts. Rather uh, small motors, nice ones. Sort of like the... Um, was was in the SEMA upgrade package. They're very reminiscent of that. So low profile, I like that. Props look nice. Props come installed. Uh, I like the the aggressive angle of the props and also the taper back of the props. Maybe I can get you, so you can see that. So the props taper back. I really like that. Uh, you see plus and minus here. I don't know uh, how charged this battery is, but uh, again, the battery is somewhat charged. And uh, well, we can actually take a look here. We have we have our handy dandy tester. I just have to remember which way is negative. That way is negative. And so, so two cells, all 7.9. So 3.9, 3 3.8. So yep, it doesn't look bad. And bright headlights. I tell you, I love these headlights. I, I kind of wish the Spark had these. Um, because I was just out flying the Wakira today. And, uh, uh, you know, I just, you know, it's really easy to see the headlights. So, you know, if it's red, it's going away from you. If it's white, it's coming towards you. And if you don't see anything, well, then it's one of the sides of the copter. So, I'm pretty excited about getting this out in the field and doing some flying. Um, let's take a look at what the overall weight is of this guy. I always get asked, how, Joe, how heavy is something? So, um, so this is about 371 grams. Let's make sure it's not sitting on anything. Yes, yeah, so it's about 370, 71 grams. So, not a bad weight, lighter than the Wakira. Um, very nicely built because this top seems to just, just pop on. So let's maybe see if we can put the scale back out of the way and pop this because I think this top just pops off. I think this top just pops off like this. So, yep, it does pop off. So, we got the electronics assembly. It looks like we can set the, the video here. Um, but it does all seem to be one unibody uh, construction. So if this breaks, I think it's gonna, you're going to have to replace the whole uh, unibody uh, assembly. So the thing is, we're not going to crash it. We're not going to break it. Um, so all the electronics seem to be underneath here. This uh, felt pad is kind of pressed down. And again, this does appear, from the looks of the instructions, part of the whole FPV camera assembly. And this is getting rather warm uh, to the touch here. So, again, very interesting. And I think uh, fairly easy to access and, and potentially maybe hack some of the electronics in the future. Uh, because that's one of the things I'm sort of interested in. And I almost considered getting one of these over the Wakira and hacking the electronics. But I figured I'd go with the Wakira first. But now that I got this, I think this is a good addition to the Old Man's FPV Club. And so we're going to take this out uh, in a future episode and fly it. So another big thank you to Banggood. I'll have links to this down below. And I probably ran a card up in the corner or something. Uh, for links for this guy. Um, I'm excited about it, and I think for the money, it really is a quality build. So if you're not going to go the Wakir route, I definitely think, and I would recommend the Bug 6. Now, the controller here, um, you know, it's got the screw on it, but I know it's got the, the AA batteries, and, and again, uh, pretty comfortable feel, and I love the fact of flips. I want to do flips so bad. Um, you know, I don't want to get into acro mode and everything like Mr. Steel. I just want to hit a button and have it flip. And that's the promise of this guy. So is it the holy grail of entry-level FPV racers? Well, stay tuned because in a future episode, we'll find out together. So again, big thumbs up to Banggood. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Subscribe's coming over there. Hit me up in the comments below. And we'll see you guys in the next video when hopefully we go fly this thing. Cheers.